Hey, good afternoon there, one Tracking Man 44 here. We are gonna do something different today. You can tell, obviously, that I can load the bucket okay in the skid loader, but I just ain't got the knack for spreading with it. So I'm gonna use a Kubota to get in between the buildings. I've only got a, just a given amount of distance inside. I think it's 93 inches. And uh, I think that bucket's like 84, 84 inches wide. So I don't have a whole lot of, of room in there. And it's kind of soft on one side. So anyway, I'm gonna play with the Kubota, kind of knock the top off of it, kind of spread in there a little bit with the Kubota. Okay, so I'm not very good at the Kubota either. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we're turning mud into rock, and that's what concerns me. Well, my son was available today, so I volunteered him to come over and spread out that last few tons out of that load. So he's gonna go ahead and grade this down a little bit here in a minute. Now, I was talking there a little bit while he was spreading the rock, and I was kind of explaining to you how a terrible job I do whenever I get on the skid loader. There's just something about those uh, those controls. Uh, you got to use both feet, you got to use both hands, and you got to do all kinds of things in uh, conjunction, you know, to get it to spread this rock the way you need it to, to do. I just ain't got it. I probably could run one for 10 years and never be really good at it. They claim that to be a real good operator, you got to start out as a kid. And I've been on farm equipment and farm tractors and stuff like that, you know. But I didn't have the opportunity to spend a tremendous amount of time on heavy equipment. Now this boy here, he's been on uh, farm tractor and stuff from the time he was a kid. And then by the time he got to be 17 years old, he was running park fists and backhoes and stuff like that. So he's been on it uh, ever since. So it really, really makes a big difference whenever you, you just get a different feel for machinery if you grow up with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but unless you're an operator, you, you just don't quite understand. And I'll never be an operator because I just, just don't have the touch with so much of this stuff.
Now, if you wonder why we're taking so much time to do such a good job leveling this all up, uh, there's a particular reason, and that's not to be disclosed at this particular point in time, but uh, very shortly, in a very, very soon to be released video, you're going to see what it is that we're going to be doing here. Even though what we're doing is entirely temporary, it still has to be done. So uh, we'll, let you, we'll let you see that whenever the time comes. Well, at any rate, we've about got this one wrapped up. Now the project really starts, now that the gravel work is done. And uh, pay no attention to the 67 Mustang Coupes out here behind me. Uh, you guys really ain't seeing that. You know what? This track is at 44, and I am out of here.